Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome to day 28 of the Command 66 Day Challenge. Marty Miller with Summit Property Group in Houston, Texas, coming back to you to follow up on the challenge we had yesterday where we created an ad in Lead Accelerator for Facebook and Instagram via Lead Accelerator. So we're going to go back into that ad and we're going to show you a little bit more about um, targeting your ads through expert mode. So first of all, I came back into the ad that I created yesterday. Um, basically, I had saved it as a temp or saved it as a draft. First thing you should notice is that yesterday I set it up for 10 days, but that was based upon yesterday's date, meaning it would go live the following day. That still has yesterday's date in it. So I'd have to come in here and change that. If I change it to the 20th, realize that it doesn't change your end date. So now my ad is only running for nine days, which does impact my daily budget. If I still run it, wanted to run the ad for 10 days, I'd have to come in and change that to the 30th, and then it'd reset my budget allocation down here. So just make sure you guys see that and that gets um, you know situated for the 10 days. Down here at the very bottom, ad targeting. We talked yesterday about the basic targeting with regards to age, location, and radius. However, if you toggle expert mode, we can start getting into some advanced targeting, um, demographics, hobbies, etc. So first you can choose between gender, male or female, and then you can get into the advanced targeting. If you click on browse, it's gonna show you the different opportunities you have. So demographics, interests, and behaviors. Just kind of thinking about some of the homes that I've listed in the past, um, I have listed an equestrian property. So if I wanted to target an ad towards buyers for an equestrian property, I could click on interests then come down to hobbies and activities, and then further down into pets. Although most people don't think of horses technically as pets, there is one here, and if I hover over this, it shows that there are, what is that, 174 million people that have said at some point they have expressed an interest or they like pages related to horses. So if I clicked on that, then the advanced targeting would show interest, hobbies and activities, horses, it would target that group. Just remember Facebook and Instagram is an and setup, meaning that if I come in, okay, great, so I have that set, and now I want to go into, let's just say, I don't know, something easy like behaviors, uh, purchase behavior, no, let's do, I don't know, demographics, right? And I wanted to make sure that uh, they at least had a college education, um, so college grad. Well, now I am looking at down here at the bottom, people that are college graduates and like horses, right? So it's not college graduates or like horses. So I might come in and say, no, I don't want to limit that that much. I'm going to take college grad back out. So with regards to Facebook and Instagram, um, I would recommend not layering a ton of people. You can see right now with my estimated budget and target reach limiting here, I'm down to about 290,000 people. Um, let's say I took that out. Maybe I have a property, um, a good example of an and. So if there's a, um, we have both a baseball stadium and a soccer stadium here in Houston. BBVA Compass is the soccer stadium and Minute Maid is our baseball stadium. And they're actually located rather close to one another. So if I had a townhome or a single family or condo in that area, I could definitely come into hobbies and activities, I could go down to sports and outdoors. I'm sorry, not hobbies and activities, scratch that. Come down to sports and outdoors and then click on sports. And I could say, I'm looking for someone that is both a baseball and a soccer fan, right? That would be a great combination because I literally have a listing that's right between a baseball and soccer stadium. So that might be a, an example of something where you're doing two different now, granted, we went from 290,000 with people that were interested in horses down to um, one point or up to, excuse me, 1.3 million with regards to people that are both baseball and soccer fans. So you can kind of play with it and see um, as you go through what the estimated target reach is based upon the advanced targeting that you're doing. We can always click on remove all and it takes that away. Um, one last one I could think of maybe if it was a I've listed a home before where it had like a 10 car garage. I've also listed a home before where it had an RV barn. So I could go into browse, um, let's say hobbies and activities. And um, let's see, is it under hobbies and activities? Vehicles, there we go. So vehicles, so um, RVs. 
Here's an entire section, right, of people that are interested in RVs. 2.7 million people interested in that who have expressed an interest. So if I go back, it shows me, now again, that only gets me down to 80,000 advanced target reach. However, how many people are going to be interested in a home with an RV barn, right? Probably people that drive or have an interest in an RV. So just one last example of how you could do advanced targeting in order to take your ad for your listing and really focus on people that have a high interest in what your listing has to offer with regards to location or amenities or that type of setup. So that's today's Command 66 Day Challenge. Get into your Instagram or Facebook ad that you created yesterday. Start playing with some of the advanced targeting options and realize some ways that you could further enhance your ad by targeting people that have an interest in things that your listing has to offer. Again, just remember Facebook and Instagram is an and, so if we select more than two cat more than one category, they have, an, have to have an interest in both. So just one little caveat. As always, hope you guys are having an amazing morning and I will look forward to talking to you tomorrow.